Hello and welcome. My name is Christian Delgado and I will be presenting New York City graffiti and crime mapping. Before I begin, this web map was created with the mind of extending my master's thesis. My thesis was what is gang culture and how do they define their territorial space? This interactive map is meant to extend this project to the GIS community and citizens who can contribute to the collection of graffiti. The purpose of the collection of graffiti around crime hotspots is to better determine if gangs are still using graffiti as their means of marking their turf. This gives law enforcement and city planners insight on mitigation efforts and the role of graffiti in these gang areas. Now let's begin. This interactive map allows for the viewer to add data directly from the ArcGIS online store. So for example, let's look at subways. Here it is, New York City subway station. I'm going to add it to this map. I added New York City subway onto my map. As you can see, it adds the data layer directly to this interactive map, which is a pretty neat feature. Another option that I included in this interactive map is the ability to change base maps. Let's go with the dark gray this time. The layers included in this interactive map all collected from New York City open data and they include arrest, complaints, criminal court summons, and shooting incidents. We created points and heat maps to symbolize and visualize this data across the map. Let's look at some information. First off, let's zoom in to my study area. My study area was predominantly in the 114 precinct. These points you see here are data spots or graffiti locations that I recorded and geocoded them into the map here we were able to locate new gang areas or graffiti hotspots. Let's zoom into the location. In this area here, I was able to discover a new gang. They are called the delinquents, a Mexican gang who uses graffiti to mark up their territory. I also went on a few um, other graffiti tours to capture graffiti here in Queensbridge, Ravenswood, and Woodside. Let's take a look at some more graffiti pictures. The purpose of collecting the graffiti was to collect the data and then see what kind of gangs, once the graffiti was deciphered, what kind of gangs were in this area. Let's look at some of the other data, some of the other layers we have here. I also included DCNY graffiti trafficking. Why? because this is a great source of information as to where graffiti is being cleaned up and where they are being recorded throughout New York City, not just within this precinct. So essentially you can see where these hotspots are, potentially finding new gang hotspots who are using graffiti as their means of marking up their turf. This is a heat map of that. One of the most important layers that I found to be where the incidents are occurring and they aligned with potential gang activity was the shooting incidents. As I zoom out, you can see the shooting incidents spread throughout New York City. We get a better idea of where these hotspots are located once I turn on the heat map. As you can see, it was in the location I studied 
We also have some here in Jackson Heights Corona area. As I zoom around the city, we can see that we have some more intense hotspots here by Bushwick, Best Stuyvesant area. Let's look at another data set, complaint data. This is complaints data for the year to date. So the map does get flooded with points. One of the best things you can do is zoom in to a area of interest. The great thing about this data set is that it's interactive, so you can click on it and you can get more information on that complaint type. This was a larceny that occurred on, well, it gives you the date, it gives you the location, and the victim. But here we can also look at the legend and see what these colors represent. And based on the data, it gives you the top charges in the order the frequency amount that it occurs so here we can see the top complaint type is petty larceny followed by harassment assault third degree and other related offenses and other crime types that did not fit the top category was classified as other and that's a quick overview of this map it's a great tool to use to visualize crime and is also a great way for a potential crowdsourcing project in the near future.